Second year defensive lineman Keon White has been absolutely incredible for the New England Patriots. This guy has taken the next step and looks like an absolute superstar. Now, of course, he'll have to continue to develop, have to continue to get better. But the disruption that this guy has caused. Now, one of the things we got to know is you're not going to get a sack on every single play if you're a defensive end. You're not going to get a sack on majority of plays, honestly. But if you get close, that does generally lead to a guy that's productive. It leads to a guy that might, over the course of his career, make a ton of plays. And you're already seeing that with White over the first two weeks. You know, on this play here, he's going to do a good job making contact with this uh, this wide receiver. He's going to push him back into the quarterback. The quarterback does throw a touchdown pass on this one. But these are the plays that over time lead into plays like this next one here where the quarterback's going to end up getting sacked. Now, White's going to do a great job with the right arm rip. He's going to cross the face of this guard. And he's actually not going to get credit for this sack. you actually see that some of the other defenders end up cleaning it up. But this is White that essentially forces this sack, right? He's the guy that initially gets right into the quarterback's face. He makes contact with the throwing arm of the quarterback. This is just a really good explosive rep here by White. Coming out of college, we knew what Keon White had, but this guy's put it together, man. This guy's looking absolutely incredible, if you guys ask me. Now, as I stated, you're not going to have an opportunity to get home on every single play, but as long as you're winning your one-on-one -on -one blocks, as long as you're able to beat the guy in front of you, you're doing good things with your hands, and you're able to generate a little bit of pressure, I think that's where it's at. On this one here, you're going to get a defensive line game. White's going to do a great job being able to get to the inside of the tackle. Great job the way he attacks this right tackle as well. One of the things you want to do on a defensive line game is if you're the guy that's going first, if you're the initial contact man, you got to be able to get to the inside shoulder of these tackles. And on this one, White is going to get to the inside shoulder of this tackle, and he's going to keep that leverage. To me, this is a great job attacking the inside. And with that, he's going to be able to generate pressure on the quarterback. If the quarterback holds onto the ball for half a second longer, this is a sack by Keon White. You know, sometimes you can watch a guy and you can analyze the way he's moving, the way he's getting past guys in front of him, the way he's able to jump one way, jump the other, how he's able to get after the quarterback, the pass rush plan that a guy might have. And I've obviously slowed this play down to half speed, but you guys can watch it in, in real time and see how much more explosive and, and quick it is. But once again, man, Keon White's getting pressure. He's getting back to the quarterback. He's making this quarterback feel uncomfortable. And it's just so quick the way this guy's able to win. And this is a veteran guard he's going up against. Lakin Tomlinson's one of those guys that's been around it for a couple of years now. He's a solid football player. And you can see White just straight up cross him. He uses a swipe move to cross him. Gets back to the quarterback. Generates pressure once again. Just a phenomenal job by White. You're going to get another play once again by Keon White. Absolutely beautiful. He's going to get right back into the quarterback's face. And this one's going to be an incomplete pass. This was third and seven. So once again, you're feeling that impact here by White. Once again, this guy's doing exactly what you need from your defensive lineman. Now, the one thing with this play by White, compared to the last play I just showed you guys, uh, where it's very similar, right? White essentially is going to jump to the inside. This one's different because White is going to actually start his pass rush towards the outside. So essentially, he's going to take that first step towards the outside. He's going to hezzy. That's going to open up the guard's hips a little bit. And then he's going to come back with an inside move. This one's going to be a rip move as well. The last one was a swipe move. So it's a little bit different in the hand placement and the way he's able to kind of utilize the hands and the technique. But once again, it works. And he's going to be able to generate pressure to the quarterback. He's going to end up hitting the quarterback. I mean, Keon White, to me, was phenomenal against the Seattle Seahawks. And he has so many more plays that this guy made that we're going to continue to get into, uh, including this seven-yard sack on second and 20. This one comes in the fourth quarter. Again, just being able to use that quickness, that explosiveness, the way this guy moves, I mean, it is absolutely incredible. Keon White, man, has superstar written all over him. And we actually saw these flashes back in preseason last year. If you guys remember, I did a video on Keon White last year at some point. If you guys did not watch that video, go check it out. But we saw the movement skills with this guy, right? We saw the explosive technique, the ability to change direction, the ability to make people miss and swipe. And this is such an incredible pass rush. Now, one of the things to note with White is he does have to develop. I think he does look better on the right side than he does on the left side. Keep in mind, on the left side, you might use different hand uh, techniques, right? Different pass rush moves, but uh, it still works well. And he's able to be a pretty good center here in Connor Williams. Guy has played a lot of football in the NFL. 
He's going to once again hezzy, right? He's going to get out of his stance. He's going to hezzy. Is he going left? Is he going right? You don't really know. Connor Williams is trying to get the left hand into white. White with the right arm swipes. And just like that, man, he's in the backfield. That is absolutely incredible, man. That's that's impressive as hell as well, man. Keon White, phenomenal game. Absolute baller. I want to show you guys a couple more plays from this Seahawks game as well. And then we will switch focus, and I'll show you guys like two, three plays from last week's game as well, because White had a couple of really, really nice plays from that game. Uh, he's going to blow up the run on this one. Good job reading, recognizing, coming downhill, making the play. I do like the fact that the Patriots do line White up in different spots. Uh, I think one of the things with guys like White is... And he's not a nose tackle, so you're not going to keep him on the inside on every single down. But at the same time, he's strong enough and he's so explosive that you do want to take advantage of those mismatches against guards. Now on this one here, he's going up against Charles Cross, former first round pick. Cross has been pretty damn good for the Seahawks as well. Once again, man, it's just a straight up swipes him, straight up chops that hand. And just like that, you generate pressure. Now again, Keon White is not a finished product. Right, he has to continue to develop his pass rush moves. Uh, I always say this, and I think this is something that I once spoke to TJ Watt about, and he agreed, or I guess it was something he told me, and I agreed mostly with it. But uh, you know, if a guy's struggling in the NFL, and I'm not talking about Keon White, but just generally speaking, if a guy's struggling in the NFL, one of the things that that guy has to do is just develop one move. All it takes is him developing one move, and as long as he's able to fine tune the technique within that one move. He can have success. And with White, you're already seeing this guy having that one swipe move. But at the same time, this guy's trying to spin. This guy's trying to do different moves you see on this one here. Again, I mean, that's that's a good job right there. Again, he, he's not going to get the sack on every play. But to me, if you isolate this one play, right tackle, defense then, and say who wins, I think Keon White wins this snap. I think he generates pressure. I think he forces the running back to have to pick him up. I don't even think the running back was responsible for him. I think the running back had to make sure that number 48 didn't come on a blitz. I think that was his initial guy. And because of the fact that White ends up winning, you see that uh, the running back ends up helping there. So that's a really, really good job as well. But again, the thing I want to try to go back to is the fact that it only takes you to fine tune one move to have success, right? And with White, he has the swipe move that he's already been able to perfect. On the last play, you saw him spin back towards the inside. And on this play, he's going to try to try to speed rush and try to bend the corner. And uh, he gets to the quarterback once again, right? To me, you know, again, it's not it's not a sack on the quarterback, but he gets his hand on the quarterback and he makes the quarterback feel a certain type of way, right? You see the left hand right there, grab onto the quarterback. Next time the quarterback has the ball, he's going to keep an eye on White. He's going to make sure this guy's not able to disrupt him. Now, why even last week against the Bengals had a couple of really, really nice plays. And I just want to show you guys a couple of those plays as well. Second and six, he's going to end up getting a sack. And again, it's just that same move, right? He's going to end up just hezzing towards the outside. And he's going to end up swiping the right tackle back towards the inside. It does not get better than this, man. Beautiful job right there to be able to beat the right tackle. I believe that's Trent Brown. Don't quote me on that. Um, but just a really, really good job right there to be able to hezzy towards the outside, come back towards the inside, swipe. And just like that, you're going to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. Again, he had a bunch of other plays he made as well against the Bengals, including this one here. Once again, just doing a really, really good job to use that power, uh, that athleticism that this guy has. And uh, he's going to get the quarterback once again. You know, in my opinion, if, if you're a offensive line that has smaller guards as the Bengals do, you put Keon White on those guys. If you have offensive tackles that are slower, you put him on those guys. And this guy will have success against those guys because he's kind of that combination of both, where he's an elite mover, but he's also very, very strong. Overall, I'm very, very excited to continue to watch Keon White. We saw the traits early on in this guy's career. We had checked in on him last year. The guy was phenomenal, and he's officially put it together, right? He's officially becoming that superstar caliber defensive end that uh, could play now opposite of Christian Barmore or opposite of some of these other guys they have. And he's the type of guy you want on your team long term because these are the type of pass rushers that are very, very hard to block. They move differently, they're quick, they're explosive, they're strong, they're physical. Everything about this guy is really, really, really solid. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. It was a lot quicker than the type of videos we generally create. 
We get a lot more detailed into some of the techniques, especially when we talk offensive linemen. We've done a video on Caden Wallace, and we're definitely going to check in on him as well as we kind of go forward. So if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.